My name is Tom Barry. I'm an educator here at the Intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum. And today, we're going to be talking all about the vacuum of space and what NASA had to deal with in order to send a person into orbit around the Earth. So NASA had to protect the astronauts from the vacuum of space. But what is a vacuum? Simply, a vacuum is just the absence of matter, especially air. We're going to recreate the vacuum of space, or at least a small portion of it, by using the following equipment. We have a vacuum pump, a vacuum chamber, and various items that we're going to put into that vacuum chamber. Not only does the Earth's atmosphere protect us from the sun's rays and allow us to have air to breathe, it also allows us to have water. Water needs pressure in order to be a liquid. So, what do you think would happen if we took this liquid water and put it into a vacuum? Let's find out. Right now, this vacuum pump is pulling the air out of the vacuum chamber, creating a partial vacuum. Remember, water cannot exist in its liquid form inside a vacuum. Let's see what happens. The water is boiling. It's going from a liquid to a gas. Water cannot exist in a vacuum as a liquid. Now, I'm going to turn this off and reintroduce the air. There are two ways to make water boil. One, you can add heat that excites the molecules, they turn into a gas, or you can remove the pressure. When astronauts go out in space and take a spacewalk, they wear these big heavy suits, and for lots of good reasons. One of them is because your lungs would not react well to be in the vacuum of space. We have two balloons here that represent two lungs. One, a full inhalation, and one lung that's been exhaled. Let's see what happens when we put them in the vacuum chamber. So now the vacuum pump is removing the air from the vacuum chamber. The purple balloon is getting really, really huge right now. We're not adding any air to it. It's just trying to fill up the space that's left by the vacuum. The air inside of it is just expanding to fill up the space. If you ever do decide to take a walk in space and you forget your spacesuit, uh, let the air out of your lungs first. If you don't, you'll do some serious damage. Marshmallows are not the best stand-in for human tissue. But go with me, I promise, it's worth it. We have all this wonderful skin and muscle and bone that kind of keeps us together. So if you go out into the vacuum of space, you're not gonna pop or anything like that. But there will be an effect on your body. Take a look. We're gonna place the marshmallows into our vacuum chamber. Once again, we're going to pull the air out. Watch what happens to the marshmallows. The air is being pulled out of the vacuum chamber. The air inside of the marshmallows are expanding. And now, keep an eye on them. You would end up looking kind of like these marshmallows. So what we can learn from these experiments is this. When astronauts go up into space, they have to bring an atmosphere with them because space sure isn't going to provide one. On behalf of Intrepid's education team, thanks for watching. Keep experimenting and exploring, and don't forget to visit us at intrepidmuseum.org.